Paint session. Welcome back Green Country Custom Baits. We have got a clear water pattern for you. Uh, these particular baits is the third one going to Lake Cumberland. So if you're out in Kentucky, check this pattern out. I think this is a smallmouth killer. Clear water. This is not a stained water pattern. It's not an early spring. This is your clean it up water. Summertime pattern. Wiggle wart. Pre Rapala. Base coated, ready to go. Glad to be back painting, guys. Let's get right to it. All right, we're going to get right to it. We've got a base coat. Uh, we've got our wiggle wart taped off. I've showed you that in quite a few videos. I like to keep the originality of that intact with these uh, great bodies uh, from wiggle wart uh, from the old Storm Brothers. So, clear water crawl. Uh, great pattern and we are just going to get right to it so we got a white base coat but the key one of the key elements is to have a bone color on this bait on this belly and up into those sides lightly we're going to do the same thing with our bill. Next up is a custom color uh, that I made. And uh, if I remember at the end, we'll show you the, what it took to make it, but we're going to do three coats. And we're going to do this all over the top and sides. Not into that belly and leave a little of that off white. Okay, one. You don't have to heat set in between every coat. I like to on the first one just to get it really good and adhered to that base coat. Next two, we will do wet coats and just build. Just air here. <clears throat> Mainly air when I'm blowing now. Okay, we'll do a heat set and see if that's what we want. Yep, and that looks good. <clears throat> Now we need a little green pumpkin, a real light green pumpkin. Run 
that on the mark. Okay, so at this time, I'll let that thing cool and whatever crawl markings we can, we've I've done many, many. I showed a picture to uh, my customer of one of his last baits. He really liked that one. So we're going to again, once used, um, our custom made 3D printed crawl stencils. Okay, so while that bait's cooling, I'm just going to make sure that we're good and clean. If you can see that, just using a brush in case there's any cobwebs. Remember, it's been a while since I've done a lot of painting, so that one looks good. Just show you, see, there's just a, there's a little deal of paint. Paint will build up on these. These things are easy to clean. I soak them in simple green and they come out really nice, but there's a little piece. Can't see it from that direction. There we go. All right, I think it looks good. Give this bait a little bit of time to dry. So carefully, these are made for these, uh, primarily for the knockoff baits. And you can see how they're slightly different, slightly, ever so slightly, from the original, because this is a 100% Real deal. Pre wrap wart. I always just clip the two. Most generally, I'm holding. Well, I'm going to go ahead and clip that one. Sometimes, if those hook hangers on the bottom don't match up with this perfectly, then it'll leave a little gap. Okay, so we're going to come back with a uh, dark green pumpkin. 2022 PSI again go light first round oh my guys are coming back here go inspect it always gets the nose of them things right there <clears throat> but we can touch that up we have our light green pumpkin right here
And we're going to tone this down just a hair. Let's see what we got. We got our white with a little light brown just over the top and the shoulders, just to layer that and give us a little bit of difference there at the top of the bait. There's a lot of colors in this particular bat. So now, I mean, we are just lightly going over the very top of that bait. It's just darkening. Darkening up the top edge of it. Now we're going to do a little detail work with our green. And we're going to add a little of our green pumpkin at the back edge of this, this plate right here. These are just little details that adds so much to your to your pattern. Just the back edge of these plates. Most of it you can't really even see till you get the clear coat. Just a little hint of that that green in there. Okay, before I do the splatter, oh God. This one, your X-Acto knives, they get really used up. You do have to do some maintenance on these. Maybe I need to do a video on that. It's about time for this one. They get stuck, they get stuff down in there, especially if you clear coat with them. Look at that, just peels. Peels right off for the most part. Sometimes you got to use an exacto knife or something to scrape it. But I need that to clip down on this without marring the surface. There we go. Yeah, one thing we know is we've got a. Oh, I forgot about. We need to get that tape off there. Which it had a white. background so not a big deal normally i'd blend that a little better and may still do it all right we're going to come back with just a touch the dark iridescent red just one drop will do it get all that other paint out of there and we're just going to put a spot on it A lot of times I'll do red eyes, uh, <clears throat> but we are going to do yellow, and I want those yellows to stand out, so we are going to add uh, some white to our brush. Just a little bit of white goes a long way here. Let that dry. <clears throat> We're going to go back with a yellow over the top of that. Sorry about that, folks. About to make me cuss. 
because the drops today. Uh, I want that a little bit brighter, so we're going to hit it one more time. Folks, we, uh, we've nearly got her knocked out here, so usually talk about this at the end of the video, but while I'm doing these pupils, I just, uh, just want to thank everybody for coming back and checking it out. I, you know, I haven't got everybody back. It doesn't look like checking my videos out. But what's expected when you're gone away from, uh, putting videos out for six months. So, you know, like I've said in previous videos, I'm ecstatic that I've got some viewers back. And hey, at the end of the day, this is just an educational channel, you know, for your benefit. I'm not making a bunch of YouTube money with this. You know, uh, really not. Uh, so, Guys, what we have here is the clear water crawl. Different crawl variations. I can do just about any kind. This is by customer request. So, guys, let me know. Leave a link. Uh, leave a link. Leave a leave a comment below. You know, tell me what you think about this color pattern. I'm telling you, it's a good one. Uh, I've had a lot of really good success with this in clear water situations, and. On my home lake, it's a producer. Large mouth, small mouth, really get after this thing. And that's the purpose for my man in Cumberland, Kentucky. Once again, guys, thank you. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, please. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing to it. We're going to put out content every Saturday and... <clears throat> giving you DIYs on anything to do with custom painting. We have a beginner's tutorial. If you haven't looked at that playlist, please check it out. If you are new to airbrushing or have an interest in developing this pattern, there's some basics and some fundamentals that uh, you can see that will kind of help you create some shortcuts for you. The learning curve is kind of steep, and it's really just time behind the airbrush. So anyway, enough said. Check out the B-roll. Be some great pictures of this after clear coat. And we'll see you next week.